Look at that beautiful sky up there, the beautiful sky. And look at that bat, there's a bat flying around. I'm not making it up, you can see a bat. You can see multiple bats flying around up in the trees there. There are bats. See that? Did you see that? This is in HD. I'm kind of zooming in. You can see a, a bat there flying around. This is in HD. I'm in the park just lying around like a bum. Here I am lying. I'm lying on a bench. I'm just lying on a bench here. I've got this t-shirt in a bag having to be at places I don't want to be and since I've got a break I've just been lying here you know <laughs> in this park it's, it's getting dark now and um, I usually take a break around this sort of time in the evening and there's nowhere really to go uh, for this time so I'll just like spend some time in the park just see you got some people passing now But um, as I say, this is in uh, full HD. Sorry, this is uh, a bit dark, as I say. But yeah, I was just lying here on this bench just now. It's a bit dark. I know you can't really see very clearly, but... Uh, okay, I'll turn my torch on so I can do that. Full HD. <laughs> so I had a plastic bag, you know, with a, just a T-shirt in. And I'm just lying here. I was just literally trying to lie. I've got stuff in my pocket, so that's the only thing, you know, and a... Uh, Kind of awkward but you know um yeah man so i'm just here in this park it's in full hd look at those lights on those buildings full hd I want to quick give a quick shout out to people so you know um everybody man um, jason stork because i know you said that you think this park looks cool so jason stork and you know craig flippy craig cavaney my two bros you know of course other bros like um you know demsley and chuck okay anybody watching yeah, and I want to say thank you to um, Jason Stork also Mountainous for putting the you know my putting my uh, music on your on your videos when you do. I'm always really really grateful to you for doing that. You know, uh, um, look at the beautiful colours though in the sky. I mean, just looking up at the clouds. I mean, it is not the best looking sunset as such. I mean, it's getting dark now, but you can see the oranges. I mean, actually being here is another thing. Just like lay, I was just laying there. But there are bats up there, really. I can see bats. There's bats flying around through the, through the trees. There's a bat right there. Can you see that? That's a bat I've got on camera, on target. <laughs> um, you can see bat. Wow, it's low. the more dark it gets, the more bats you see. And they fly around so erratically, so different to, different to birds, you know. Yeah, early on, there were quite a few kids over in this park playing over here and families with their kids, I mean, you know, and everything. And I'm just enjoying the cool, fresh air because it's like, this is a park in the city, as I say. It's one of those parks I know too. Um, and I'm usually here around this sort of time, you know, and uh, the park's nearby. So when I get that break in the evening, you know, stop my work, uh, I've got nowhere else to literally go as such. And I want to avoid negative people and stuff, idiots that I have to be around. So I, do, I just try to find a quiet time. And I think this is the most quiet and best time you could be in the park because... <laughs> less people are around, you know, they, like, I don't know, probably going home to eat or whatever, it's getting dark, you know, you do get a few people running though and stuff, you know, you do get people running and stuff, running around, but I'm telling you, I'm under the street light here, you can see me under the street light, hi guys, it's only me, Wushu Richard, how you doing? And my advice to everybody is just stay positive no matter what happens, it's only me, Wushu Richard, Richard Clark, you know, just me, human being like anybody else and I think everybody should stay more focused and more positive. I think, I think everybody should stay more focused in life. And no matter what, just stay positive. And always look to the good. Look for the good things in life. You just have to. Be creative. Don't let things bring you down. And I know it's hard, but I've been so tired and stressed lately with all the stuff I've had to deal with, you know. And I'm not, I'm not like most people where I talk about stress and all of that. You know, I'm not that kind of a person. I don't believe in all of that. I mean, I don't believe in... You know, people, but I don't believe in moaning. I mean, I believe it's in your mind, you know. There is hassle you have to go through, really. Sorry about the wind, okay? Sorry about the wind here. It's a bit windy, I know, but, you know, I'm just saying, like, you know, but I'm just saying the mind is, is the thing, you know. You've got to stay focused. Action-wise, you should take steps to do better things in life and stay focused, so, you know. I can hear music playing over in the background there. I love the way they light these palm trees up and all along the side of the road there. 
And if you if I was to go down that way, you'd see, but I don't really want to go there now. But you can see the water here. Let's get a, let's get a shot of that. Okay, if I walk down here, across by the bridge. Oh, it's really nice and cool. There's a nice breeze. Okay, it really is. I mean, you really appreciate cooler weather and breezes and stuff because, as I say, uh, I don't really want to go there actually because somebody's on that bridge and uh, I don't fancy a stranger talking to me while I'm making this video for you guys, you know. But look at that water. Look how dreamy that is. Looking at that water. Look. How relaxing that is. I love to see col colours, lights you know, reflecting off of water anyway and, and when it's like raining and stuff, you know, and things like that. But those lights there from the buildings are reflecting on the water. So, you know, I know it's not really clear for you to see a lot because it's pretty dark. But, you know, uh, I know it is. You know. But, um, <coughs> that light there, that looks like a little sunset or something. <laughs> I zoom in. Look, I love the effect that's giving. Mind you, I love that blue water there over there, the light, look at that, I love this, look, look at that, wow, but yeah, I guess I'm just different like that, I notice things, but I notice a lot of things, you know, and you see a lot of these people going around on like electric, you know, skateboards and scooters, you see these people going around and it blows my mind at the modern day, like young people, you know, they don't know how to use their legs, you know what I mean? <laughs> You see a lot of people in these electric skateboard things, and I know it's convenient, but everything's for such convenience, like they're just the human beings just being demolished for, for it, you know. It's ridiculous, in my opinion, I'm just saying, but it's up to you, do what you like. Now look at this, do what you like. Now look at this beautiful moon up, up there, you can see the moon in the sky. There's HD night in the park with Wushu Richard, how are you doing? Oh damn it, there's a dog coming. <laughs> So I know you can't see that really too clearly. So you got a little dog there running with his with his owner. <laughs> a little faithful furry companion running along with him. People. <laughs> you do get people riding bikes and stuff too, you know, obviously. Yeah. But I wanna say I love this red, look at this red. But the purple and the blue and the yellow and the all the colours are so nice, you know. Sorry about the, I'm really sorry about the wind, as I say. Oh, that's good. That guy, that guy's gone from the bridge now, so we can have a look. Yeah. HD always comes out really well. Um, full, full HD to 1080p like this. I mean, but obviously it's gonna, it'll come out better in the daytime. Full, eight, full uh, HD, 1080p, because you really can see, you know, more because <laughs> the light is what lets us see things, and you know. But I'm just walking along, you know, just walking along this this um, road, you know, or well, this uh, bridge, excuse me, bridge, okay. So uh, walking across the bridge, yeah. Trying to be careful with the battery power, not to waste too much. It's a big building over there, very tall building. You can see over there. That's I've shown you that in videos before. See that very tall building? There's no lights or anything. It's still being built as such into something. So if I walk down here now. Yes, but I, I do like to see sunsets though in like clouds and because when I when I look at the clouds and the different colours of like things like that and lights in or anything like that, you know, rain with lights reflecting off of a rainy road or sunsets and things like that or you know the sea or anything like that. Forests with streams. I love to see scenic stuff, you know. I mean, look at this here. And because it, it reminds me of like art because I love I love doing painting you know and drawing as you know and painting and making stuff for like my even just to do pictures just painting and I also love you know making animation as you know and things like that making cartoons but you know I love scenic stuff like this I mean look at this the pink, you can see the pink in the clouds there a bit of pink and blue it's not very clear though because it's getting darker now as I say it's getting a bit darker now <laughs> You know, some people would think that's crazy, but you know, nice to get a little. Uh, it just gives you inspiration. It just, I don't know, it lets you feel free. You know what I mean? Feel free. So I know you can't really see much now, but I'm just having a, you know, just having a walk and talk with you guys. Yeah, thank you, thank you for joining me. 
I want to say thank you, Jason, for your message before to say about you know the, the park. This is that same park, but it's night time this time. Same park. Okay. Um, there are people around here actually. There's people walking around. You can see me in the light under the lights and stuff. Look how these trees are lit up. That's nice. A bit of a pink sky behind it. Things like that. I like to see that. And I love the way they do light up the palm trees like over there. Look. I do love the way they do that. That's nice. So they light the palm trees up. Look, really nice. And there's a lot of palm trees around. I mean, this is a tropical place where I am. Don't forget, you know. It really is. It is a tropical place. <coughs> That's not a UFO. <laughs> That's just a, a fucking. Excuse my language. That's just a um, you know, fucking um, uh, street light, a path light. Uh, and if I go around here, we've got a left or right. Which way do we go? <laughs> Let's go right. You know, I'll show you more. I'll do some more HD videos like around the city and stuff. See, I sometimes come around this way. Let's see. Let's come around this way, just to have a little look. Well, there's a couple of statues at the end that always scare me. They're always like, like, I don't know, they just make me feel a bit, what's the word? They just surprise you when you see them, like, if you, if you might think it's someone coming, you know. But, yeah, uh, look at these pictures. I, I can't read Chinese, sadly, so if anybody can read that, you know, you can let me know, but... Oh. I'm not. I'm not too really interested. I mean, there's a lot of people, and the reason I'm not too interested is not through lack of interest. I have a lot of human figures, you know, human beings that have inspired me in life, and there's lots of amazing people. You talk about Einstein. I mean, my my biggest ins one of my biggest inspirations. I feel the wisest one of the wisest people ever that I've ever known is the Chinese philosopher Laozi. Okay, Laozi. Um, Laozi is pronounced Laozi okay, in Mandarin Chinese, but a lot of times people mispronounce it and miss, and they say Laozi or Lao Tzu or whatever. But it's like Laozi, um, L-A-O, and then it's Z-I. But uh, the guy was basically a Chinese philosopher, and he was, you know, he, you know, he wrote the book, the um, Tao Te Ching, Tao Te Ching, um, sometimes pronounced Tao Te Ching or the Tao Te Ching, you know. Tao Te Ching, Tao Te Ching, or Tao Te Ching. But in Mandarin, it's actually Tao Te Ching. Okay? So some people, sometimes it's written as Tao Te Ching, but it's a philosophy book uh, based on the philosophy of nature and yin and yang, you know, yin yang, yin and yang. The two uh, forces, you know, you, you, you know, by the representing the, represented by the black and white circular symbol of the flow of the black flowing into the white, the white flowing into the black, small to big, big to small, uh, looking almost like fish. And um, let me just show you these statues here. They've got like dots and it looks like the eyes, but it's not, it depends how you look at it. They've got statues here, look. I'll show you these. This is like supposedly the father, I'm guessing, and he's on the phone talking to the motherfucking homies on the black. What's going on, girl? And you've got another one here. You've got the daughter and the mother. So you've got the mother, she's not a vampire. Yeah, see <laughs> the 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 young daughter and the um, and I like that the young daughter. I'm sure that's the mother, and then this is the father here. Uh, I don't know what it's all about, but it's just nice to uh, nice to see different. This is just the design displays and stuff that people have put up. You know, it's a family, but it's nice to see. Why did I say it's nice to see the daughter? I don't know, uh, but it's just in China. A lot of people that have been, always always it's always been influ uh, in so emphasized a lot about having a son like you know a lot of people have always wanted to have a son more than a daughter I'm not saying everybody and a lot of people in this day who am I to know but I'm just saying I've always heard that I've been told that in China by so many Chinese people that uh, you know China has always been like that where people have always wanted in the past to have a son more and I've always I've, I've always loved the idea of having a daughter that'd be very nice of course, a son or a daughter, either way, it's going to be your child, so you'll love it, but you'll love them. But I would love to have a daughter, you know. Either way, I don't know if I, if I ever will, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> but I do have a lovely wife, and if we have children one day, who knows, you know. And I'm just walking here, walking past these trash cans. Oh, should Richard doing it right now. You see the mash that. Yeah, man, bright lights and UFO sights. Walking down the road like you might ignite me. Yeah, but basically, you know, um, so I'm just walking down here. There's that bridge over there we crossed. You can't really see it from here. 
There are a few people around. There's a big square here. I'll tell you about one of these squares here on the left. There's a big square which you can't really see too well. It's dark. But there's a there's a actually um <coughs> so, there's even a bike there. Hold on. <coughs> oh, this is a big square here. It's a square, one of the squares in this park. And I was actually I actually get, thought it would be a good place to like do some martial arts training, but in this square, I know you can't really see it well here, but there's you do get um, a big group of like older people, mostly elder or elderly, old elderly or older people in this square practicing Tai Chi, you know, Tai Chi, uh, Tai Chi, Tai Chi, right? Practicing Tai Chi, uh, uh, you know, uh, to, um, here I'm saying in this square and other groups too around the park still. And I um, you know for the health and that mostly, you know, but it's like it's just amazing to um, it's nice to see that people still do train. Sadly, not enough young people, and also the spirit of it, the fighting combat spirit of the martial arts. I mean, is is dying in so many ways. I don't want to. I don't really want to walk back now. I've got enough time to walk around a bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk out onto the road now. It's quite a busy road down here, but we'll walk. It's a bit noisy down here, it may be a bit more noisy because as you can see a lot of traffic down there and stuff. I'm thinking maybe we can walk over there and I'll give you some HD shots of the scenery. I mean it may be a better idea to just walk in the park really. But um, let's just walk that way and turn left and I'll just talk to you as we're walking. But basically, yeah, I can't make this video too long, otherwise it'll be massive file size-wise. But it's a bit brighter over there, so I'm thinking maybe I could show you some HD. I mean, it's not worth filming it for the sake of it. You do get some negative people, azimuth as we call it. Azzy, azimuth. You're going to get some negative people on the road and that. But I'll just ignore, I'll just ignore that and talk to you. Right. <coughs> so just ignore that. Sorry about the noise also. Uh, yeah, getting some um, some shots here, HD, full HD of the night streets, you know, here, South China. Uh, I will um, find them a time to do like more, like actually in the city, like area with the shops and that. And so another another night or something, okay. And who knows, we might get a Mackie D's and McDonald's or something <laughs> in a video, you know. See how we go. Right. I probably will one of these days. I'll do that. One of these days I'll do that, you know. But yeah, in full HD. We're in full HD, as I say. So that's the park over there on the left, as I say, in there. And uh, yeah, I was walking here, so I want to just say to you guys, you know, yeah, just stay positive. Don't let anything bring you down, you know. I know it's easy to say, but I've had so much crap. I've had so much hassle recently this week. I had to deal with certain people and you know you might have to be at, at, at work as I say you're in a, in a workplace environment and have to deal with all kinds of idiots because they just you know you, it's the way the world is you've got so many idiots but the thing I'm saying to you is always stay positive always stay focused and try to communicate and value the good things you know value and do more exercise if you can it will keep you feeling young and really healthy I've really found that Sorry, I'll give you more shots of the building, sorry, the lights, but try to, um, try, if you can hear me, try to, uh, try to give yourself more e energy and healthy fitness, and fill yourself with like a youthful energy by doing a bit more regular stretching and exercise, alright, especially stretching, I really advise like stretching and kind of like aerobic, aerobics kind of stuff, not crazy all out stuff. It depends how far you want to go, but doing a basic top to bottom stretch, gentle stretch, you can do more if you want to, but do that every day, and then, you know, uh, if you can't get too much in, in the, I do it every morning, but I do it every day, every morning, but if you can't get a lot in, you, you just do what you can, and then you do more later on in the day, and you can always do a little bit of this or that throughout the day. Do a few things, a few movements, like, you know, Jumping jacks, squats, stretching your legs, uh, stretching down, touching the floor, touching your toes, or just stretching downwards, you know, things like that. Stretching all your muscles, swinging your arms around in circles, <laughs> you know, twisting your waist, you know, your neck, different things, your waist, your neck, 
it's loosening up, you know, and getting that breathing in. If you like to run, you can do that, you know. A bit of jogging on the spot even, you know, just a little bit, get you some energy. Get some energy back into you, you know. I'm really sorry about the wind also, but you know what I mean? Sorry about the wind and the camera angles not being too good, okay? And, you know, I'm just saying, you know, about keeping healthy in your mind and body, you know, and you have to do it, it'll, it'll make you feel better. You know, you know, being a, you know, active in both sides, healthy mind, healthy body, you know, you let both, what you both help the other, you know, one help the other. And if you feel better in yourself, mentally, you'll be able to do better, <coughs> better things physically. <coughs> but if you feel physically active and focused, you know, and good and healthy, you'll feel better mentally sometimes. And what my advice is, is to, uh, my advice really is to just do, um, you know, do look for the good that you want, like, um, avoid negative people if you can and negative things. If you can't, you just get through it. I know we pull ourselves through a lot of crap in life, you know, um, lay off of bad addictions and stuff if you have any bad addictions, you know. There's some people in the world that blow my mind. Because I, I think, you know, it's really weak when some people have these nasty addictions that harm their health and you don't need to be doing that either. Some, you know. But the basic thing though, the point, yeah, the basic thing I want to say is, you know, um, the other thing I want to say, the main point I want to say here is, um, you know, uh, I don't even know, <laughs> I do know. But the main point, the main thing I want to say here is that, you know, health, okay, focus on your mind and body, and the, the positive stuff, so communicate with the positive people, value those more than the ones who don't care, don't beat yourself up too much thinking about those people, just just value what you do, have positive people in your life, you know, talk to them people, or make friends more like that, you know, if you can, and the most important thing is respect yourself and value yourself. Have some passion and some creativity in your life. That's what I'll say. Who am I to talk to you like this? Who am I to tell you these things? I'm just saying, you know, you know, um, focus on good creativity. You know, focus on good making something. Uh, it doesn't pay off in life. It's a waste of life to just go through life and make nothing and not enjoy it. Just to go through life like a routine every day, just working and going through life with a routine of work, pressure, stress, work, pressure, stress, you know, all that stuff. And you just go through life um, bored and depressed and moody and uh, down and then you lose lack of health and energy in yourself, all of that, you know. And then what happens is, is you don't even um, have any passion or any, any fun in life. You enjoy it. You become like some, uh, you know, robot with no meaning in their life, just working, and that's it. So you may have a passion, and the passions, those passions, are like I have, you know, like creating animation and you know, making games and creating animation and making little movies and music and stuff. I've got so many passions: writing stories, you know, um, doing drawing and painting. You know, I'm making little videos, edits, and special effects and stuff. I've got a lot of hobbies and passions. Martial arts, of course, training and teaching martial arts. But as for my health and self-defense, I'm just saying, everybody should have some passion for something. Because not only can it be your passion, which is good enough, the riches in your life that keeps your mind positive, so you'll be able to focus more on your health and be a healthy person in all ways. Mental and physical, find the body. But, but the other thing is, the other thing is, you know, that it, it may also help you because you'll be better at doing what you love and in, your interests are, you know, where they're at. And you may be able to actually use those to actually earn money too and earn a living. If you look into things and work with it, you may be able to make things happen for you. You know what I mean? With those passions. Um, I would pursue the passions that, that you have and focus big time on it, you know. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop this um, 
video and talk to you again later. I need to head back in the other direction now. So thanks for watching that ramble, and I'll talk to you again soon. HD, that was, talk to you again soon.